I am down almost four pounds. Did you hear that right? I am down almost four pounds. Did you hear that right? I'm down basically four, like 3.8. Let's just round up to four. I was 134.5 in my last video. And I talked about in that video my New Year's resolutions and how I want to lose 10 pounds. And I've been saying this for like two or three years now. I am the heaviest I've ever been and there's nothing wrong with it. Like I fully accepted myself and my body aside from body image issues that are going to come up, I think at any size. But I just got to a point where I just got to a point where I was like, I miss my old clothes and I want to drop my body fat because I don't even feel healthy right now. Like I feel lethargic, I feel run down, I feel tired, wasn't taking care of my body. I started working out with Emma Fit UK. I'll have her profile up here. Her transformation is insane and the way that she has coached her other clients through her Empower training, it just like showed up on my Explore page one day and I was like, whoa, I love this. Like not super restrictive calories, making working out sustainable, no guilt trip over having, you know, like days where you enjoy the foods that you want to enjoy. Whatever this is, sign me up. So I had messaged her and the reason I say it's humbling is because she was like, hey, I've actually like been a long time follower. I followed you when I was first getting into my fitness journey. There's something about it that is like both flattering but also humbling and also a little bit embarrassing. Like I don't know why I had this feeling of embarrassment where I was like, oh my gosh, she knew me when I was like my most fit, like my strongest, my most fit. And now I'm coming to her like, hey, can you coach me? But she was so sweet about it. She made me feel like so at ease. I forget that I was like influential in the fitness industry enough to the point where people were like, oh, I followed you when I was like starting my transformation. But she's amazing and she's so sweet and she's just like everything I think I've ever needed in a coach because I reached out to her in like October and I lagged for like two months. And finally, January 1st, I was like, okay, I'm ready to like really do this. So my heaviest was 134.5 and yesterday I just weighed in at 130.8. Now I do want to know, I am tracking calories again. If that is triggering in any way, don't watch this part of the video. It was a very sore area for me and I made it very clear to her like, look, tracking calories has not ever worked well for me. I become way too obsessive. If I had two tortilla chips, I needed to put it in my fitness pals. Instead, what I'm doing with her is I am tracking my calories. I was doing macros, like sending fat, carbs, protein, but now I'm just setting her calories and just setting her protein. I'm still eating Lucky Charms. I'm still having Reese's. I'm still having Doritos on the days that I feel like it. It's just a lot more controlled and there's a fixation on protein for me. And I know it's a conversation for a lot of people of like, no, you don't need to have more than 50 grams of protein a day or you don't need to have 80 or you don't need to have whatever. I'm making it a goal to have 100. One, because I do want to build muscle. But two, because it's honestly a huge part of the reason that I'm not having as much processed foods. If you guys tell me I only need to have 30 to 50 grams of protein a day, bet your bottom dollar. I will be having two bowls of Lucky Charms. I will be having chips. Having a higher protein intake is really helping me in that way. I am treading very lightly in this process and really taking care of myself because the people that know me and love me are like, oh, tracking calories is a little scary. And I know some of you guys might feel that way too. But the great thing is if it gets to a point where I start to obsess, which I really don't see happening like I oddly feel the most food freedom I've ever had I'm just talking all over the place right now my priority is fat loss and I'm doing that and I'm eating foods that I love feeling really good like I, I don't know how else to explain it and she has not had me go under 1650 calories which is great because I don't know if you guys remember when my last coach tried to have me having 12 to 1300 calories a day we don't talk about that anyway that's what's going on my fitness journey is with empower and working directly with emma and i'm just so excited that within a month i've already been able to lose four pounds and it's felt sustainable and like i'm excited every week that i do my check-in with her because i know that there's going to be progress it's already been life-changing and i'm just so excited to for the first time in years actually see 
weight loss happening because it just wasn't happening before. So I'm just like, oh, I'm so happy. long this morning I was like I get so in my head about things I'm like do I take a shower go to the gym get my groceries no I need to eat okay do I get my groceries walk to UPS drop off no because I need to do that I just get so in my head that sometimes I call Ryan and I'm like I know what I need to do I just need you to tell me what order to do it in but he didn't answer because he has a job and he can't answer all of my phone calls but don't worry guys I was able to adult all by myself. I went to Sprouts and got what I intended to just get some like milk and bread and I think some salmon, but I ended up getting way more. So we're gonna do a grocery haul. First things first, I live by this. It's amazing. 30 calories per serving. What more could you ask for? Unsweetened almond breeze vanilla milk. I got my favorite Dave's Killer Bread. You guys remember that time they sponsored me? I feel like every time I show this, I have to say that. Hey, Dave's Killer Bread. Hit me up again. That was a real good time. Love the bagels. I got some uh, organic bananas. These ones are looking rather large. Then I got two things of strawberries. If you don't know, now you know strawberries are the best fruit. That is the reason I got it tattooed on me. I got some lunch meat from the deli. This is like the Black Forest turkey breast. It's just like really sweet on the outside. It tastes really good. Ryan and I would love to like add that to our eggs or like make sandwiches and stuff with it. I never knew about Siggy's or like Skyr yogurt. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. I've always been like a Greek yogurt person because it tastes delicious and it has a ton of protein in it. This yogurt has even more protein than Greek yogurt. This guy, Siggy, sorry, the kitty's playing, but this guy, Siggy, created this yogurt and you know all the ingredients on it. Pasteurized skim milk, organic agave nectar, Madagascar bourbon vanilla, fruit pectin, and then live active cultures. That is all that is in this. This is amazing. One serving, which is one cup, no, three quarters of a cup, is 18 grams of protein. Insane. I've been buying the little ones, but I now know that I'm a fan, so... I bought some bulk because there's four servings in here and I'll go through this in a week, 100%. This yogurt, if you haven't tried it, you have to. And I honestly have to shout out my coach, Emma, for that because I didn't even... Skyer yogurt, it was just like not even on my 
it wasn't, it was, do you know what I mean? It, was, it wasn't, it wasn't on the horizon for me. Yes, I don't cook my own rice. I don't like to cook if you guys haven't realized. That's just the truth. You know, I'm 28 now. If I liked to cook, I would have known by now. I like to cook and have it all ready. You know, like, that's why HelloFresh is so good for me. But I got some steamed jasmine rice. I love buying frozen rice, but I'm pretty particular about the ones I get. This and the Trader Joe's jasmine rice. I think they're all manufactured by the same company. And then I got this hibachi fried rice from the same company, because it sounds pretty good. Ready in three minutes, sign me up. I got sold on this, dark chocolate drizzlers. I realized that I like dark chocolate after being in denial for my entire life. I got some fire roasted Brussels sprouts. I don't like cooking, if I didn't already say that. I got this to make for lunch today, alongside sprouts. I had this really yummy looking Thai marinated chicken thighs. So I think I got, damn, I think I got six pieces of this. I think my thought was like, oh, I'll meal prep this for the rest of the week for Ryan and I. I got some turkey bacon and then I got like six ounces of salmon, which like this is really not feeling like six ounces, but I think it is. And an avocado. And Ryan is addicted to these milk chocolate toffees and he just ran out last night. So I was about to check out and then I was like, he's going to be so upset if he sees that I went to Sprouts and like, he's going to be like, you didn't even get me the milk chocolate toffees. So I went and got him the milk chocolate toffees. That's a quick little Sprouts grocery haul. And I need to eat because I'm starving. Yes, another morning with jazz. Seems to be the only time that I vlog. <laughs> Once the day actually gets exciting, I'm like, okay, today's Friday and we're gonna make some breakfast, but I feel like there's just so many things. Let me turn on the light. It's a lot better. Um, there's so many things. God, is it though? I feel like there are just so many things that I have been putting off for a while, like just random things. Like I have a bunch of propagations that I need to get put in pots or like, you know, just not have them live in their little water. I mean, it's been like over a year. They are ready for a home. I have that. I have things that I want to donate. I have like a lot of books that I want to donate to the library. I want to go through my office closet. I want to organize it. I think I'm finally ready to part with the beautiful white sofa that I spent so much money on getting it custom built, but like it has no purpose anymore. I mean, it might at some point, but I just don't want to pay for store. Oh, I just have so many random things. I feel like that's part of the reason the house always feels like so cluttered because I know in these crevices that everything is waiting for me. So I'm going to do my best to do, to, to make today like a, that list, like finally doing that list of to-dos. Oh, my camera's dying. Okay. I'll see you when my camera's charged. today and today's just kind of been like a series of mini unfortunate events. I got all my stuff loaded up. I spent like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes going through my office and like going through the closet, seeing what I needed to donate. I'm still going back and forth about donating my books. Ryan says I should keep them because he's like, when we have kids one day, it'll be so nice for you to like show it to them. And he's, he's also like the type of person that's like, keep everything. Why don't we just keep it forever? So I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay home. I'm just gonna relax, like I'm gonna read my book. But I was like, I'm gonna feel so much better and so much more accomplished if I just fight through my laziness and my sleepiness right now. I'm for sure gonna go to GameStop and try to sell a couple old PlayStation games I have. I'm going to take this stuff to Salvation Army. I might go to the shelter. We'll see how I'm doing energy-wise. And I also have to go to PetSmart. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, let's go. 
feel so dumb because I just sold my games at GameStop and one of them was The Last of Us and if you guys don't know, The Last of Us just came out with a TV show. While it's not like more expensive than usual, it's like impossible to buy right now and I just sold it to him for $5. Probably could have sold it on Poshmark and made full profit because it was in mint condition. So that's great. I did it. I did all the things I didn't want to do. I did all the things I didn't want to do. Oh, no, no, no. Red Rocket's out. We'll pass. It is now Sunday. No, Saturday. I got my stuff done yesterday. It's bleeding in to Saturday, which is totally fine with me. It probably might bleed into tomorrow too. Ryan was a gem this morning and he cleaned the entire living room and kitchen. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I slept in till like noon. I was just really tired. He swept, he mopped, he vacuumed, he did the dishes, he unloaded the dishwasher, like he did so much stuff. So normally it's his job to take out the trash, but because he did all that, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do the new dishes that came out and I'm gonna take out that trash. And he's having some friends over tonight for a UFC fight that he is like so <laughs> excited about. So I'm gonna do the things that I need to do before a couple of his friends come over. And he just left to like a vintage thrift store because he loves vintage so much. So we are gonna give Duke a bath. We are gonna give Duke a bath. Yeah, cause we got a stinky boy. Oh God, you're so cute though, huh? No one knows that you're just a mean little rescue boy that just- And his eye allergies are coming back. He has an appointment next week. We're gonna give him a nice little soothing bath to help ease his skin. And then Prince will be next. And I'm not going down to my apartment's bath. Like we have like a dog wash room here, but I just, I feel like they feel more comfortable at home, especially Duke, so. We're gonna do it from the bathtub. I'm gonna break my back for you, okay? Day. Ryan woke up this morning and he was like, well, he woke me up this morning and he was like, okay, this is the plan for today. 
We're gonna get up, you're gonna get ready really quick. I'm gonna take care of the, the kitty and the dogs and we're gonna head out the door. We're gonna go to the Brain Dead Vintage Market, which ended up being like, and then we just kind of walked around Silver Lake, so it was pretty cool. We met up with two of his friends. What? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I, this is exactly why I vlogged and I was almost gonna forget. While we were in Silver Lake, Ryan was like pointing from behind the camera like, you're forgetting something. We made um, a big girl purchase. <laughs> and it's probably a questionable big girl purchase, but I went to Barreto because I've like never been in the store before. Almost bought a $200 perfume. And then Ryan was like, Jazz, you're a little bit impulsive. How about we just like wind it back? Let's just wind it back. Maybe just get the candle today. And you could tell that the lady, tell that she was looking like, you're really gonna let this guy tell you what you can and can't buy? And I'm like, you don't understand. He is the reason I am not an evolving debt. She was sweet and ended up giving me a sample of the perfume I wanted, which was Gypsy Water. She gave me a little two milliliter sample. She's like, you know, just hold on to this. And then when you're ready for the purchase, you can get it. I'm gonna go through this so quick, I bet. Let's see. Oh, it smells so good. Weirdly, gypsy water makes a lot of sense. But then I bought a candle. Ryan and I are sort of obsessed with candles and it's just like it adds a vibe and an ambiance to the end of the night on the coffee table or on the kitchen counter. It's just like our thing. And we haven't really had a candle that's been like really making the whole place smell. It's sort of just been like looking pretty. But these, <laughs> this was $90, so it better smell amazing. And this is in the Bibliotech perfume. I mean, fragrance. They say it's supposed to smell like a library, which if you guys do or don't know, biblioteca means library in Spanish. Well, we're gonna light this up actually right now. I'm gonna let Ryan enjoy the fragrance because I have to go down to the gym, but let's, let's do this. She gave me these beautiful long matches. Oh, oh. She didn't give them to you, you paid $90 for them. No, I paid $90 for the candle. I paid $90 for the experience. Let's unpackage this beauty. Historically, I'm known for spending too much on things that maybe we don't think deserve to have that much money spent on it, but how do you open this? Okay, I guess I'll just have to rip this. I can already smell the fragrance coming out. It feels wrong. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. It's done. We did it. I don't know if you guys remember those really expensive mugs that I got. They were like $65 a mug. I use those every single day. I get so many comments from people saying like, wow, so happy that you're at least using those candles you spent so much on. I mean, the mugs. You use the mugs every day? Yes, I do. Or do you use the ones my mom got you from Ross? Okay, I used, no, she did not give me those from Ross. She got them from Sir Latab or whatever. Maybe she did get them at Ross. She knows how to get something good on a budget. But no, I do use those mugs all the time. They're just always dirty. I may have my tea in it every morning. Okay, this is her or him. I thought it was gonna be way bigger than that. Oh. I saw a TikTok that says that animals cause cancer. Can you not suck the fun out of this? TikTok's doing it, not me. Mmm, baby, it smells good. I'm really trying to make this a nice experience for you guys. That is it. The candle is lit. I feel like a very bougie girl. It was $90. Hurt, but worth. Okay. All right, and then this is a quick update on how big Vermicelli has gotten. It's just getting bigger and bigger. And he's like not even four months yet, so. He's gonna be a chunky boy, isn't he? And he's a purring machine. He just lives his best life. Anyway, I have to go to the gym. Um, but thanks so much for watching this vlog today, guys. I loved hanging out, loved catching up. I'll see you guys next time.